Hi, this is Rick DeWitt with Axiom, and I'm here to tell you about translation secret number eight, which deals with level symbology overrides. In MicroStation, there's two ways that the symbology of a level can be displayed. One is by level, which is comparable to by layer in AutoCAD. The other are level symbology overrides, and these are additional ways to display elements on this particular level. And when overrides are set, like we have for this level ANO sim here for color 4, style 3, and weight 0, when the view attribute to display overrides is turned on, any element on this level will display with this particular set of symbology. The other levels in this particular file don't have any level symbology set. So let's take a look how this works. Here is a file. I have level symbology set off. I go to the view attributes for this level and we turn on level overrides. Now pay attention down here to the annotation for these sections and this line below. When I turn level symbology on, you're going to see that they display yellow with that style 3 line and the weight is 0. If I turn this back off, they display with their original symbology. During translation, it, you can apply either the standard by level symbology or level symbology overrides. And this is a subject that sometimes causes problems. So how do you control this? Well, we go to the file menu, we do save as, and this is a DGN and we're going to save it to DWG. So we go to Autodesk DWG. Autodesk does not support both styles. You can only have by level associated to a particular level. So you have the option by going to DWG and options, opens a dialog box, and here in the general category under the basic set of options, you'll see use level symbology overrides, and I have that turned on. And when this checkbox is turned on, and it's not on by default, by the way, when you turn it on and do the translation, you will find that level symbology replaces the by level symbology when translated to AutoCAD. I hope this helps you in your next translation.